So Tesla has given out a free trial of full self-driving to every car out there, which is amazing. Now, the thing with full self-driving, oh, it's full self-driving supervised, is you still have to pay attention. And if you don't pay attention, you get a strike and five strikes and you're out at least for a week. And I would hate for you guys to miss out on your month trial with a week suspension. So I'm going to show you how to avoid getting strikes. All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from Tesla. So like I said, everyone is getting a free month of FSD, which is you. But not everyone knows exactly how it works. Uh, so let's get just a bit of an intro into how the strike system works on your autopilot and FSD. Basically, Tesla wants to make sure that you are paying attention and focusing on the road and not goofing off sleeping or being in the backseat, stuff like that. Uh, so they do it in two ways. First off is the steering wheel nag, which I find is not the most accurate because I could have my hand on the wheel, but if it's too light, it's not going to register. I still have to nag. If I do it too strong, uh, it'll disengage autopilot, which is annoying. Uh, so basically you have the right amount of torque on the wheel to show that you're holding the wheel, uh, but not enough that you're going to disengage autopilot. So um, you just kind of have to have your hand there. So it's not that accurate. The, most, the more accurate system is the cabinet camera, which is just up there. Uh, basically, it's going to track your eyes as well as your head movement to see where you're looking and to see if you're looking at the road. So that's how Tesla monitors you. And the way it enforces it is basically it's going to give you notifications of, hey, you're not holding the steering wheel or, hey, you're not paying attention to the road. And a warning will flash on the screen. And if you ignore that warning or you're not paying attention to that warning, it'll eventually get bigger and bigger. And there may be some audible sounds and beeping at you to make sure that you're holding the wheel. And if you don't do any of those things and you can keep continuing to ignore it, you will get a strike. And then you will not be able to use both full self-driving and regular autopilot. So you have no cruise control or anything like that. No assistive features whatsoever. You are driving manually like it's 1950. Now, you may think that, hey, it's going to tell me to hold the steering wheel. I'm going to ignore it for a little bit, but then I'm going to hold the steering wheel and go back to what I was doing before. But... And as long as I keep doing that, I'm not going to get a strike, but that's not how it works. Uh, so I'm going to go over what my experiences are. Now, I'm not going to actually demonstrate getting a strike because one, it's not safe. And two, I don't want strikes. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about based on my experience of what it is for you to do to avoid strikes. Anyways, uh, before I get into it, though, please take a second and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. You get better content, better uh all kinds of better videos, helps the channel grow. It really appreciate it and really helps me out. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe. Do it now. All right, so I'm not gonna demonstrate exactly how to get strikes or what happens when you get strikes because uh, I don't like strikes uh, but I've had a lot in my driving history um, just because you know like I said before it's not Tesla doesn't exactly explain to you the uh, ways you get strikes other than hey pay attention to the road and hold it steering well uh, so you kind of have to know the rules of engagement to be able to use the software a few weeks ago I was getting ready for uh, a big road trip and I had like two strikes. So, you know, God forbid, I don't want anything to happen where I would end up getting suspended before that road trip. So I went ahead and purposely got strikes just to kind of test out the system uh, in terms of exactly what it's looking for, what happens. Uh, so this is what I found. You think that as long as you recovered from the warning, so if it tells you, it gives you a warning of uh, holding the steering wheel or pay attention to the road, you think as long as you said, hey, okay, I'm going to hold the steering wheel now and go about your business doing whatever you want. And uh, as long as you're responding to the warnings, you wouldn't get a strike. But that's not how it works. Basically what it is, is it's a, it calculates based on time and distance or distance as well as frequency. Um, so... What I mean by that is that uh, if you get, let's say, five warnings in a span of 10 minutes, uh, the system's going to think, hey, this guy's not paying attention. Uh, screw him. Next time he does it, you're out. And that's what it does. Uh, but if you say, let's say you're not, you're getting five warnings in a span of, let's say you're driving for an hour, uh, it's going to be more forgiving in terms of that. 
Uh, so it goes by based on warnings and the frequency and the time of those warnings. Um, so what I recommend, I'm not gonna recommend uh, like, you know, uh, ways to beat the system or, you know, whatnot. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna, I wanna encourage safe driving. The only thing I could recommend is if you are getting a bunch of warnings and you've had a lot of them, I would recommend that you disengage FSD and drive manually for a bit, uh, at least to kind of reset the system. Uh, if you do, I've heard, I don't know, I, don't, I didn't really test this out, but I've heard if you do a reboot of the car, uh, that'll clear out your warnings. You won't get a warning of, hey, I wasn't paying, like, you know, it's not like you're getting the hands warning on your steering wheel and you just completely ignore it and it goes blue, 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 red, 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 flash, 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 and then you get a warning. That's not how it works. You'll notice that all of a sudden you don't hold the wheel for a certain period of time and you get a strike because it's just, it's using the accumulated warnings against you. I'm not uh, flagrantly abusing this. I'm just kind of like taking a podcast or taking music to play, looking at the screen for about any more, any more than six seconds, you'll probably get a warning. And uh, you'll get, if you do that too often, you will get a strike. So best thing to do is just look straight ahead. Uh, even then, like I'm just looking at the, can at the screen right now, picking a podcast or picking music, and uh, I'll just do it right now. Like, so I'm gonna say one, two, so that's a steering wheel one. See, I'm holding the steering wheel and it's still giving me an ag. Uh, so let's do, I'm holding the steering wheel and I'm gonna look down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's 13 seconds. Uh, so, you can't do it for too long. Obviously, 13 seconds is a long time for you not to pay attention to the road. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, but all right, so that is how you get strikes. Now, I'm not going to sit here and uh, try to give you hacks or tips on how to fool the system, but it's important for you guys to know how you get strikes to be able to avoid them. Uh, because Tesla doesn't really do a good job of explaining exactly how the monitoring system works or how the strikes work. Uh, so I'm hoping that helps you guys and you can avoid strikes so you stay out of Tesla jail. Now, obviously, the best way to avoid strikes is to hold the wheel at all times and drive straight ahead. But we're all human. We have this great features of this Tesla that makes us safer. And I'm not going to say like, you know, I'm reading a book or playing a game. I'm just kind of using the screen and, uh, you know, changing a podcast or listening to music. You have to be able to do kind of those stuff, but you just be mindful of exactly the frequency of when you're doing it and how long you're doing it for. Uh, so that is the best way to avoid strikes. Like I said, I'm not going to give you uh, tips on how to beat the system or fool the system. Uh, it is what it is. It's there to keep you safe and it's keep there to keep, make sure Tesla doesn't get in trouble. All right, following these tips will lead to a much better FSD trial. It's only for a month, so take advantage of it. And I'm sure a lot of you will subscribe. It's a really good deal. Uh, they dropped the price of the description down by half, especially here in Canada. It's also $100, which is a huge deal. Uh, so I would definitely do it. It's only $100 for a month for basically a chauffeur, practically supervised chauffeur. Anyways, uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, it really helps the channel grow. You'll get better content. I do how-tos, Tesla 101, uh, accessory reviews, all kinds of fun Tesla uh, content. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week or so. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching and I hope you're enjoying that FNC trial. Let me know how it's going in the comments and uh, drive safe and drive electric. All right, so now that Tesla has given everyone, so now every, Tesla has now given every car with FS, Tesla has given out, Tesla has given every car, Tesla has given a, Tesla has given every car out there a free trial. All right, so there it is. Uh, so now that we have free, so now that every, so now that every car with FSD has a free trial, everyone is using FSD.